Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Yolanda Maria, if this is your first time here. So um, today's video is going to be very, very quick. We are not going to waste a lot of time on this particular topic. Um, I wanted to go ahead and go get this video out because I know a lot of people have been waiting on it. This video is for my entrepreneurs, my business owners, my people who um, actually wholesale hair or even um, sell hair extensions and wigs so this is for business owners who are in the hair extensions business so this is the piggyback off of the logogo hair review so this is going to be my update as well as my final um, i was going to do one more video as far as me testing like really really testing the hair as far as um me wearing it for several weeks and all that stuff but i'm not going to do that because this company is a no-go no-go Logogo is a no-go, okay? Um, I don't even know where to start with this company. Um, I am just now, like this week, um, or last week actually, last week, finishing putting this hair together, um, this unit together. And um, I just installed it um, actually yesterday. So I, you know, as you can see, it's it feels amazing. It looks amazing. Um, and I don't know you know, a couple weeks from now, how it's going to look. But I don't care. I personally do not care um, how long or how good the hair is. This company is a no-go, and I will talk about that in a moment. Let me just tell you guys about the hair itself. So this was originally 24 inches. If you have not seen the original video um, where I showed the actual bundles, this was supposed to be 224, so it's four bundles, okay? Four bundles and a frontal. Four bundles, um, so two were 24s, one 22, and a 20, and an 18 inch um, frontal, 13 by four frontal. So because the ends were so bad, the ends, the ends were so thin, so dry, so just bad, that I personally would not sell this hair to my customers. The 24 inches, only a few strands were actually 24 inches. The ends were so thin, that I had to cut them off. And y'all, I hear my dog walking up the stairs right now. I had to leave the door open because um, she does not like to be alone. So, um, and I don't want her scratching at the door. There she is. <laughs> y'all say hi to Bella. <laughs> hey, Bella, lay down. You gotta lay down. So, um, go lay down, go, go. So, with this hair, so I'm gonna go ahead and insert a picture of how much I had to cut off. It was a good two inches, two to three inches that I had to cut off. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert th those pictures now. So actually, once I unrolled the bundles, um, the wefts and everything, so in the first video, they were still bundled up. Once I unrolled the wefts, um, Y'all, it was so many fillers through that hair. It was definitely um, a lot of fillers in it. It all was not 100% human hair. Um, I know that I mentioned in the initial video that I had talked to them about whether this was um, their, um, their single donor, okay? So after I did that video, they still was contacting me. Um, I she she said that the rep that I was dealing with said that she went back to her manager and asked her manager about you know whether the hair was single donor and they're still they were still swearing up and down that this was single donor hair and you know okay fine you call it single donor I call it Remy it's not good quality for me so um I told them that I was not going to be purchasing their hair anymore and you know thank you for your time i really appreciate your your time but i won't be using your company anymore um they did not take no for an answer they did not take that for an answer so y'all when i tell y'all this company um well let me let me stick with the hair first so <laughs> as far as the hair there was a lot of different colors in it there was a lot and that's normal for different colors but it actually had strands in it like that you knew wasn't hair 
So that's why I say it has fillers in it. But I went ahead and colored it with the Revlon box dye. It was in soft black. I did not get dark, uh, I mean jet black. I did a soft black um, of the Revlon color stay. So that all came out really well. Everything was was great. So to the feel of the hair, it feels amazing. Don't get me wrong, the hair feels amazing. I did go ahead and cut uh, long layers in this hair and curled it. So everything seems to be good. It holds a curl for a pretty long time. I had um, curled this hair as soon as I made the unit. So before I even installed it, it had, I had already made the unit several days in advance and the curls were still uh, popping. I did kind of touch it up just a little bit before I decided to record. So that's that as far as the hair. I cannot tell you guys what the hair is gonna look like in five weeks, and I'm not gonna be able to tell you guys what the hair um, looks like in five weeks because I'm not doing another review for this company. So y'all, let's jump, jump into why. So after I told them that you know, okay, this was not single donor hair. If this is your single donor hair, I want no parts of it. I'm good. Thank you. Um, they continue to still contact me on WhatsApp over and over and over again after me telling them like, you know, to stop contacting me. I'm good on y'all. I'm not going to be ordering anything. So I ended up having to block them. So I blocked them on my WhatsApp. Y'all, they then found me on Instagram. Um, <laughs> I'm just like, Okay, now they did not find me on my business page because my business page is in my business name. What they did was search me by my full name, my first and last name that I ordered the hair in, and they found my makeup page. So for those who don't know, I'm also a makeup artist. So they found me on my makeup page. Y'all, let me tell you, they were coming in on my lives. Like I was dead as doing like lives, like tutorials on makeup. And they're, they're coming in on my lives, like, seriously? So I blocked them from Instagram. Um, then I started receiving personal text messages. Like, they were dialing my actual number. And I know my WhatsApp does not have, it, it doesn't have my personal number. My WhatsApp is connected to um, my Google number. Like I have a Google voice number, so they couldn't have my direct line. So they had to have kept my direct number from when I purchased the hair. So I'm getting direct text messages at this point. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Like any company that is this thirsty, run, okay? Forrest Gump, run, okay? This is not any company who is this thirsty that is this pressed, the, to come at you and still wanting your business, they don't have no business. That's why they don't have any business. They probably get company, you know, get people purchasing, but they're not keeping business. They're not keeping repeat customers because unfortunately, I'm pretty sure this hair is going to end up being trash in a couple of weeks. Well, I know, no. Well, I'm like, no company that has good hair that is keeping business coming in constantly will be harassing someone who has already told you that I'm not interested anymore. So after I blocked them from my cell phone, my direct cell phone number, then they done started messaging me again from a, seven, a different WhatsApp number. So now I'm having to block them. This is the fourth or fifth time that I'm blocking them, okay? So, that is a red flag. Any company that is coming at you from all angles, left, right, up, down, sideways, that is a red flag. Run from those type of companies. So yes, I really feel like today the hair looks amazing because I made it look amazing. This hair has came a mighty long way, okay? A mighty long way. It did not look like this when I, if you look in the first, um, the first video, my initial review on this hair, while it was still bundled up, you will see that the hair did not look this good. Um, I used a little bit of bio silk. I did a deep conditioning with, um, y'all, what is it? The silicone mix. Silicone mix. Um, I went ahead and left silicone mix on it for a little bit because I know that this hair is going to start giving me problems. I know. So that there was no point in me even you know, 
not doing silicone mix because I already know I, I said this hair is definitely going to give me problems so I wanted to go ahead I did the install off camera um oh this is their I ended up I did go go ahead and get their um lace frontal so that it can match the hair bundles now that was another thing with that situation um when I ordered the actual frontal I asked them for an HD lace um, in the same rep. She told me initially that they were, they had HD lace and they would be able to ship it. Y'all, I waited like five days, nothing, no tracking number, no, nothing from them at all. So I had to reach out to them on um, WhatsApp. This was before all the harassment. This was... Uh, right when I had gotten the bundles and I'm like are you mailing it like I get I, I paid you like <laughs> I already paid you the money for um, a HD lace frontal and y'all then she says it's coming in dear it's it's coming we just was out of it and, but it's coming. Okay, I'll wait longer. So I waited. So this is why y'all haven't really gotten the review quick enough because I was waiting on a frontal. So finally, after, you know, another week, um, I'm like, look, what do you have? What do you have in stock? <laughs> so she was like, we have the, you know, medium brown or brown um, lace, like Swiss lace. Okay, fine. Just send me that so I can go ahead and put this wig together. So that's what this is, y'all. I did pluck it. I did bleach the knots. I did everything, customized it myself. Um, but I do not like the lace at all. I mean, this is brown lace. I had to do a lot of work to get this. Um, you can still see the line, kind of see the line of the demarcation between here. I really wanted the HD lace um, or at least a transparent lace, but they just kept giving me the runaround on that as well. So yeah, um, if you guys have any questions, um, I don't know what questions I could ask uh, or answer for you guys because I'm not going to um, continue to even mention this company on my channel. I just feel like this is not a company that anyone should be going with. Um, I know times are you know, desperate for a lot of people that are trying to start a hair company and you know, for the price, the price is amazing, but I don't think this is something that you should even try to go to because I have a feeling that this hair is going to like start tangling and matting in the back. And you do not want to sell this type of hair to your clients and customers. You do not want to ruin your business name just because the price is good. So I wanted to go ahead and update you guys on the Lagogo hair. And I'm going to give this one a no-go, a 10 out of, uh, I'm sorry, out of, uh, they get a one, a zero actually. I'm sorry, a zero out of 10, 10 being the highest. They get a zero uh, from me. So it looks good to the eye, but um, the way that they are acting, how thirsty and desperate they are acting, I really feel like they do not, uh, retain business. So go ahead and drop down a comment. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. I'll be happy to answer it. But um, other than that, that's it guys. I wanted to go ahead and get this out to you. But as y'all can see, in case you do decide to buy this hair, I have no idea what the back look like, but in case you do decide to go with this company, I wanted to go ahead and show it all to you so that you can see it. And yeah, good luck with this company. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.